Yeah, good morning to one and all. Uh, uh, in this session, I am going to uh, talk about uh, your structure analysis, uh, CO4 syllabus. Uh, that is especially analysis of continuous beams and frames using movement distribution method. Followed by, we are going to have one more method, uh, that is one, one of the biggest method uh, along with the movement distribution method, that is CANIS method, that is developed by Candy, uh, CANI. Whereas, movement distribution method is developed by Hardy Cross, uh, that he is the uh, scientist actually who innovated and who discovered this method. By using this method, uh, we are going to distribute the movement uh, to the each and every support, uh, uh, sub each and every support of the particular given uh, uh, continuous beam. So, that uh, finally, we have to ensure that uh, the iteration process uh, should come in a fraction value. Uh, the methodology of the movement distribution method can be seen. Of course, the first uh, three steps are commonly to find out the movement distribution, uh, sorry, fixed end movements and uh, even um, uh, making into free body diagram and everything. But when it comes to the fourth point onwards, it is going to be very much important thing in, in this uh, process of methodology uh, for doing uh, movement distribution method on given <coughs> beams subjected to different types of loading system. Distribute the net fixed end movements at the joints to various members by multiplying the net movement by their respective distribution factors in the first cycle. In the second and the subsequent cycles, carry over movements from the far ends of the same member, carry over movement will be half of the distributed movement. Consider this carry over movement as a fixed end movement and determine the balancing moment. This process is repeated from second cycle onwards till convergence. The convergence means that is the thing which I told you, you have to bring into the fraction value. What are the basic advantages of the fixed end ends or fixed supports? Slope at the ends is 0. Fixed beams are stiffer, stronger and more stable than SSB. In case of fixed beams, fixed end movements will be reduce the bending movement in each section. The maximum deflection is reduced. Analyze the frame given in figure by movement distribution method and draw the bending moment diagram and SFD. And uh, you have to find out with the, for a given problem, there is a one problem given uh, continuous beam having fixed uh, support at A and uh, internal hinge support at B and uh, external hinge support at C and in the span of A B there is a uh, uniform distributed load having 10 kilo per meter having the span 4 meters length and you have uh, uh, un, uh, um, unless eccentric load uh, that, that means varying distance load on the span of B C uh, that is 50 kilo as a point load from B, it is acting at 2 meters distance. <coughs> from C, it is 3 meters. So, all put together, you have a 5 meter span. Step number 1 is you can calculate the fixed end moments. Uh, yeah, yeah, MFAB is nothing but a minus WL square by 12 since, is, since it is a UDL, uh, low, UDL uh, load, uniform distributing load, then the value is minus 13.33 kilo meter. Then MFBA equals to WL square by 12 positive, then that can, because it is a clockwise one, anti-clockwise and we are considering it as a minus actually. Then uh, there is a uh, plus actually, it is shown in here, there minus, it is a wrong uh, typing. Then MFBC is minus WAB square by L square that is minus 50 into 2 into 3 square by 5 square equals to minus 36 kilo meter. MFCB equals to WA square B by L square that is 50 into 2 square into 3 by 5, 5 square that is 24 kilo meter. Stiffness <coughs> KAB equals to KBA equals to 4A by L that is equals to EA since L is 4 actually. Then KBC equals to KCB. Uh, that is 3A by L. Since it is uh, when you have uh, uh, end support uh, as a simply supported, then you have to take 3A by L. That is 0.6A you are getting because 3 by 5 it will become 0.6 actually. Then distribution factors at giant B because only we have one giant that is distribution factor BA is nothing but a KBA divided by KBA plus KBC that is 0.63. 
similarly dfbc equals to kbc divided by kba plus kbc equals to 0.37 then moment distribution uh, member and span ab um, then you can have uh, at b we have ba bc and cb also we will be there the, those are the members actually but giant point of view it is being showing at a b then that is distribution factor and fixed end movements balancing carry over factors uh, movement and balancing again carry over factor and final movements so this is what you have to uh, do the first process is just to enter the distribution factors df will be ab 0 and whereas ba 0.67 distribution factors actually speaking uh, we got for ba uh, 0 0.63 and that is 0 0.33 actually and cb 0 and uh, whereas fixed end movements minus uh, 13.33 plus 13.33 minus uh, 36 and uh, plus 24 now balancing can be done why because uh, where it is the end support is uh, you have um, simply supported that is why you have to balance with uh, same value that is minus 24 so that minus 24 uh, when you do uh, then it will become 0 and that half, half of the minus 24 can be taken to the bc side that is minus 12 that is what carry over factor so here there are no any carry over factors uh, for the ab and ba and that can be taken as a 0 now the final the, now the first level of movements can be calculated minus 13.33 will be repeated plus 13.33 will be repeated whereas minus 36 plus minus 12 will become minus 48 and the cb side will be 0 now you have to do the balancing again uh, <coughs> this uh, this side there is no any distribution uh, at all uh, the difference between um, distribution factor uh, uh, 0.67 minus uh, uh, 0.33 you have to keep the value there and you have to multiply with that one and uh, uh, now that uh, whatever we get uh, that one uh, you have to multiply uh, with the 13.33 that you are getting uh, 21.884 correct so then when you, when you multiply with the minus 48 you will be getting the 12.83 now carry over factor can be taken half of the 21.84 and 12.83 uh, should not be carry over to the uh, simply supported and now uh, the almost there is no scope of doing uh, further uh, calculation of balancing or any distribution at all so now you can go with the final moment calculations that is minus uh, 2.4 and 35.17 uh, and the minus 35.17 that is what cross checking you supposed to verify it compulsorily at the giant b center point uh, you will get both uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise movements value will be same then the reactions can be calculated <coughs> in by using the regular process that is span a b r a will be uh, 11.81 kilonewtons whereas r b 1 uh, equals to 28.19 kilonewtons whereas span b c r b 2 equals to 37.03 kilonewtons and rc equals to 12.97 kilonewtons with this help of the values you can able to draw the sft diagram uh, starting at the ra you have a 11.81 and because of udl the pattern of the shear force will be um, linear so that will go up to the uh, rb that is support condition actually so that will be ending with the 28.19 then uh, it will go up because of uh, support reaction at rb2 that is 37.03 uh, actually so that is positive and because uh, that will be repeated up to 50 and it will come down when you remove the 50 minus 37.03 that is 12.97 it is closing actually so we, uh, already you calculate the rc value also same so similarly you have a one portal frame actually analyze the frame given in figure by moment distribution method and draw the Benjamin diagram and SFD. So, this uh, problem I will discuss in the next session. However, uh, the procedure and methodology of the moment distribution method is uh, so easy and, uh, and uh, the similarly we have to follow for the everywhere, but wherever the uh, movements are getting 0 and how to calculate the distribution factors and uh, 
how to distribute it and how to do the process you should be very clear on this so uh, with that note uh, i am going to stop this session uh, uh, with that example and i'll continue from here where i have been stopped it thank you for patience listening